Welcome back to Mike's Archer's YouTube, and here we are again checking out the new bows from Fred Bear for 2021. And the new bow for their flagship model is the new Redemption EKO. Now Bear has stuck with that same cam that they've had for the last couple years with the EKO cam. So it gives you a ton of adjustment, especially on the let off side of things. It's going to allow you to go from 75 all the way to 90% let off on this cam. Now what they did do is they changed the limb angle and made it a little more parallel than the status was last year, which gives it a little more dead feel in the hand and really an overall great feel uh, in the rollover of the cam as well. So let's run down some of the specs on this new bow. The Redemption is coming in at 342 feet per second. It does weigh 4.1 pounds from the factory. Now we did throw it on the scale and we came up with 4.4. Now that's not a huge difference and as we found with most of the other bow models, uh, that's probably coming from some of the vibration dampening that they put on the limbs uh, that isn't on their, you know, just standard. So that's where the little difference in the weight's coming in at. Now the brace height on this bow is six and a quarter inches and the axle to axle is 31. Also on that EKO cam, it's going to allow for a ton of adjustment from 26 all the way out to 30. So this is going to fit pretty much everyone all on the same cam. The bow is going to be available in 60 or 70 pound max, and Bear does have that nice 15 pound draw weight adjustment that's gonna allow you to get a little lower poundage if you're wanting to adjust that down uh, and then build yourself back up. Now some of the things that are the same on this bow from the status is that align lock technology that they came out with last year, giving you that level built right into the riser. That's still there on the new Redemption. They did change the vibration reduction system and they added a few things to this riser that they didn't have in their flagship bow last year. You can see those rubber pieces mounted right in the center of the riser and also here on the front edge of the riser. Now they did redesign that riser and it has got some really cool cutouts uh, and a good looking finish on this bow as well. They did come with six color options this year which are some of the same options that they've had in the past with the Realtree Edge, your Alpine, uh, your Stoke. But they did also add this new olive finish, which is a really good looking finish. Um, it's just a nice hunting color. They did keep the iron and they also in the catalog this year are showing that Fred Bear option of the old school camo. So if that's something you like, check out that Fred Bear camo because we found a lot of these bows look really cool in that camo. They did offer something new this year on a few of their bows and, and this Redemption is one of them. You're going to get a three month premium subscription to Onyx with the bow purchase. So that's going to give you some really cool features in your hunting territories. It's going to allow you to look up, you know, your maps and all that good stuff with Onyx, but that's going to come free with every bow purchase. And this bow is coming in at $9.99 retail. As one of their Legend Series top end bows uh, and their flagship bow for this year, it's priced right. If you start looking at everybody else's flagship bows, they're over a thousand dollars. Fred Bear wants to keep it there as the common hunter can afford any bow in their lineup. So their top end flagship bow is coming in at $9.99. A few other features that Bear Archery has incorporated for this year is dual grips, which is something they've done for the last few years. So if you like that really thin, sleek grip, you can go with that or you can pull that right off of there and install that fatter, more form-fitting grip to your hand. Just depends on your shooting style, but it's a nice addition that they throw in there with the, the top end bows. One of the other things they kept the same was their roller guard system with that swing arm. Uh, very functional, very smooth system there. One of the other things we did notice is that they've got several stabilizer holes mounted onto the new bow. So you're threaded here for front and back stabilizer as normal. But then you can also have a lower back stabilizer hole as well as a top. So if you want to add weights top and bottom to wherever this bow is going to sit well for you, kind of give it a little balance and better feel for you, you've got those options to use those extra threaded holes to add some weight to this bow. Now that we've gone over all the specs, we're going to take a step outside, shoot this bow over the chronograph and kind of see what numbers that this thing puts up. We have stepped outside. We're going to take a shot out of the new bear bow here, the new Redemption. And... We're going to see what kind of numbers this thing puts up over the chronograph. As always, we are shooting our 400 grain arrow. We are shooting this bow at 70 pounds and 29 inch draw, and we've got it at 85% let off as well. So you've got some adjustment there that you could probably pick up some speed if you went to 80% uh, or maybe lose a foot or two if you went down to that 90. Uh, it just depends on the feel you want. 
but we're going to give this thing a shot and see what it does. Three oh one over the chronograph, so that's uh, putting up some pretty hard numbers out of a bow like this, and uh, for a hunting bow, it's getting some great speeds. So. Uh, overall feel of that bow, it really is dead in the hand, probably more dead than last year's uh, status, and quiet as well. Just listening to it as we've been shooting it a few times here uh, before we actually videoed, it's, it's a very quiet bow. Uh, the dampening system that they put in there and whatever adjustments they've made, still got that same EKO cam with all that adjustment on it, uh, but rolls over a little bit smoother than last year's bow. And, uh, very solid back wall. I think you could see it there when I came to full draw. Uh, it did set pretty hard uh, against the back wall, but overall a great shooting bow and uh, something that we are really impressed that Bear has made some adjustments on here, uh, especially with those speeds as well as staying quiet with the speed. But overall, just a great bow from Bear for 2021. Thanks for tuning in to Mike's Archery. And as always, hit that subscribe button hit the bell notification, and give us some like on all our social media so that you can keep up with all the latest coming out of the outdoor industry.